Hello everyone and welcome to the Geometry Dash video and in this video I'll show all of you how to build like Karmal. Karmal, formerly known as Crazyman50, is both a skilled player and creator. He builds and verifies levels that are known to be abstract and original. From what I can see, he hasn't made too many solo levels. We have Rearmed, Lit Fuse, Conical Depression, Don't Rate This Level, Falling Up High, Black Blizzard, and Hungry Humphrey. And not even all of these levels are serious levels either. So we're going to make a weird hybrid mashup of Karmal's levels, so let's get started with the level. So first of all, before we make anything, we need to choose a song that's completely unknown in the Geometry Dash community. Sound-wise, there aren't any real requirements for this song, just choose a song that you like. In our case, we're going to use Everything by Burn Music. And because the song's called Everything, we're going to name the level Nothing. So every Karmal level, with the exception of Conical Depression, starts out with a cube at normal or slow speed. So the first part of the song, which is 25 seconds, will be a mini cube at slow speed. So in order to build like Karmal style, the first thing you must always remember is to make your gameplay super annoying by adding in unnecessarily tight timings. This can be done by adding two orbs really close together, putting a spike above an orb so you have to click at the last moment, or just spam click. Also, feel free to take advantage of the spike's hitbox by being required to jump right next to it. I did this with two jumps. Your gameplay really depends on what's going on with the song, because you want to make everything sync as perfectly with the song as possible. Next, we will have a ship section. So first of all, we'll add gears which will make the player curvy fly around them. It's something that I've seen Carmel do, so we're doing it here. And of course, you have to add a ridiculous amount of straight fly in order to flex my 240Hz monitor in front of all my fans. That was a joke. I don't have my 240Hz monitor as of writing this script. You can also add portals which require small gaps to go through, orbs and portals because those are super annoying. Next up is the UFO section, and there's this weird break in the song where it sounds like someone is picking up a phone and saying a bunch of gibberish. So we're just going to make half the section a bunch of jitter clicking, and the second half of this being portals and more tight spaces. Because Carmel hates auto parts and levels, I'm replacing what normally would be an auto part with straight flying. So now that we're at the drop, we can change to a dual wave and do that 30 degree slope thing that we saw in high. Next, we need to do some precise robot jumps, then a bunch of straight flying with a small break in between, and now we're out of the duel. I'm finishing this part off with a ship and UFO, then I'm adding blue orbs, the ones on the top you have to hit late, then orbs on the slopes because they're super annoying, and then a few tight ball timings because there are ball timings and heartbeat, and a super precise wave to finish the level. Of course, we have to add one final orb after the wave that you have to press, otherwise you'll die. Now let's start with the decoration for this level. As I've said before, Carmel doesn't have any real formula for his levels, so some of the effects I'm going to use, not all, are going to be pretty much ripped off from the level that it was originally used in. And just because there's no formula for a Carmel level, that doesn't mean that there aren't patterns in his levels. So let's start decorating the cube part. Normally in a Carmel level, the beginning is pretty minimal, so we'll start with the colors. For this section, I'm not going to use a specific color, I'm just going to make the background and the air deco cycle through all the colors so it's constantly changing. I know Carmel likes these 1.0 grid blocks for block design, so we're going to be using those. And we must add some glow because I don't think the block design is complete and glow saves everything. As I've said before, the beginning of pretty much every Carmel level is minimal, so I'm just going to have rotating objects as air deco and a shadow underneath them. I've also noticed that Carmel uses objects with animations a lot, especially in his backgrounds, so he'll use these wavy animated objects as a background. We'll set it to the same color as a background and make it move with the player. And of course, we must take random rotating objects and put them around the orbs. The next ship section is mostly Black Blizzard inspired, but I also borrowed stuff from his other levels. Carmel likes putting ramps in his block design, so I'll put ramps in my larger block designs, and I'm basically just putting lines in every other block design. For the background, I'm going to make it flip vertically, like one of the backgrounds in high. And then for the foreground, I'm going to add rain, because this part of the song sounds depressing, and rain is also depressing. Then of course, we have to add rotating objects around the gears, portals, and orbs, and we're pretty much done with this section. Next section is the UFO jitter clicking part, and I think this is the best place to make a city theme. So for our first block design, we have to make it exactly like Low Death. We can't make it too obvious that we badly want Low Death to be verified, so we'll just add in a subtle reference. I'm just kidding, Carmel. Do whatever you want with the level. Don't get mad at me. Also, I made some of the block designs out of these old metal and brick blocks because Carmel uses them frequently. So for our background, we'll have buildings sort of like falling up. And we also need buildings that are sort of realistic, but not super realistic. So first we'll have stars at the very bottom layer. Then to make our buildings, it's pretty much made of solid blocks. The windows are also made of solid blocks and we'll have glow along the outside of the building. And we can make these buildings move so they're in the background. Lastly, we need to have a layer between the stars and the buildings. And it's basically a darker variant of the buildings that we just made. So because we're not the drop yet, I just want to drag on the city theme. Remember in Falling Up there's a 2.1 sign that said that 2.1 was coming out soon? Well, we need to have our own sign, and for this one, we need to say, That's how Mafia works, because I think that meme's still relevant. And to make that sign less noticeable, I'll have limited vision, because that's also a thing Carmel does. He did it both in High and Falling Up. Next section is the dual part. We must make all of our block design white bricks because... 
That's how Mafia works. Okay, I'll stop. Carmel likes putting pulsing objects inside of blocks, so I'm gonna put circles on the edges of the blocks and squares on the inside of the blocks. Oh, and make sure none of the pulsing objects overlap. Next up for this section is the foreground. For the foreground, I added in that sweeping thing that was in both lit fuse and rearmed. And if you want to know how to do that, take a bunch of solid blocks that you want as a foreground, group them based off of the order that you want them to pulse, then pulse them individually. And if you want to do the same thing in the opposite direction, just copy and paste the foreground and its triggers, assign it to another layer, flip over the foreground, select the triggers and the foreground, press build helper in the pause menu, then move only the triggers controlling this new foreground out of the way of the original foreground. For the background, I took a bunch of rotating objects and I basically ripped off the background and rearmed, but yeah, very simple background. Background. Okay, I have absolutely no ideas what I'm going to be doing next. Where's my inspiration? How am I going to finish this level? I've ripped off everything that Carmel has to offer. That's it, I'm taking a break. Okay, I've got it. I'll make the block sign 1.0 themed, then rip off the effect halfway in Hungry Humphrey. But for only 1.0 is really easy to make. You're a terrible creator, and this is a terrible way to end the level. Dude, have you seen EXO or Conical Depression? Carmel occasionally uses 1.0 style, so it's fine. Plus, I won't make everything exclusively 1.0. So this design is pretty self-explanatory, you all know how to do this. What I did make sure to do to add extra depth was to add less noticeable grey blocks pretty much everywhere. It just adds more depth to the level. And for the Hungry Humphrey background, basically make this gradient thing as seen here. Then for our four strips of gradients, we'll assign them a color channel, so four color channels in total. We must also duplicate this and make one of them rotate in a different direction. Finally, we can take one color channel and then use color triggers to make it cycle through every color. Then we can copy and paste it, assign it to another channel, and then shift it horizontally, and then do the same thing with the other two color channels. That's basically how I made the background, and with that, the level is done. This level took me about 5 hours to make, and it took me 2100 attempts to verify, so if you are serious about beating this level, then I wish you luck. If you do want to attempt this level, then the level ID is in the description. Let's see the final result. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, sorry for the delay, but I now have a powerful gaming computer, my previous laptop was garbage, so now I have much more sophisticated equipment to make my videos, so hopefully, I'll make videos quicker. Also, one more thing, I changed my name to just Fularoni, I'm not sure if all of you noticed that, but yeah, I think having GD in my name sounds cringy, and it's way overdue. Imagine Ninja being called FN Ninja, it's basically the same thing, so it's just Fularoni now, I'm pretty sure all of you called me Fularoni anyways, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. Hope you guys enjoyed though, if you had, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're interested in my content, and as always guys, this is Floroni signing out.